hats are going to smell like armpits. In substance, the operational plan is all here in these buttons. Hey, it's Brian the Keith from Family Affair. Ships. Nobody remembers the that first show. Of the ninth wave. There are three regular strategic alternatives and one for emergency. Yeah, but I still don't like that it only has one and a half baths. Now, if you could come down, say nine or ten thousand. Guided by Commander Robert Cole. Slaw. Who will take personal part in the operation? That's a good enough guarantee for anyone. We're depending on you. Ah! Ah! Drink and smoke much? Bureau to unleash every propaganda means at your disposal to tranquilize public opinion. So is David Axelrod? Count on it, General. I believe I have all the elements necessary. Except selenium. Gentlemen, start your engine. Come on, Charlie. Let's try some of these fizzy lifting drinks. Why did you just make weird eye contact with John McCain? Bob, don't you think Varick is oversimplifying? That's one way to gather courage. She's dressed like Kim Jong Il. When I think of how we got married based on a psychotechnical examination which determined the affinity between our individual characteristics. She means eharmony.com. Now I bless that psychotechnical exam. I love you, Bob. <laughs> More gum. Oh, master. Oh, genie. Your heart stopped. Like Your hair stop. smells like fried chicken. Of our own and babies. I don't remember that from the psychotechnical exam. But I'm happy. Even like this. As long as you never leave me. That reminds me. I'm leaving you. Take me with you, Bob. Up there. Into the ductwork? The <coughs> plan is all here. I want to be included in one of those buttons. And I want to be included in a pair Only of cufflinks. Because you're there. This movie is kind of going off on a stupid tangent. This whole movie is a stupid tangent. It should be called Battle Night of the Wave. Stupid Tangents. The last one. But you... You Don't little... Don't forget Benson. What's Benson got to do with it? Remember his prediction. That paper money will gradually be phased out? Forty hours left. Only 118 have passed. Even admitting that is right. Cubs win! Do I have to climb down? Or can I listen to you from up here? He's the reason Coke stopped making glass bottles. Get out of there and put I my stuffed animals back. Tank. First... The telecontrolled missiles will be launched as a diversion tactic. The discs will enter into their usual formations, provoking what the military experts refer to as the moment of neutralization. Be quiet! Then, I'm reading Twilight! The spaceships attack the discs and destroy them. My hiney is touching that a cactus. As old as the hills. It must be really hard to sleep with your head at a right angle to your body like that. Why are you telling me all this stupid nonsense? Because the you're stupid! The commander is Bob Cole. Who was the instructor of my class at school? Ha! School? Fine class that must have been, judging by the results. He has asked me to take part in the expedition. Young fella, this is a dangerous mission. This guy must live in a tanning booth. A hopeless one. I know, but I need your permission. I'm still part of the scientific complement here. I don't like the smell of this. Story. I think I've soiled Why, my it's pants. Inspired by non-scientific motives. Just like the theory of evolution. Explain yourself, Professor. I'm not the brother. What the devil do you think I'm doing? Bathroom's free. Eve, I want to present you a hero. Captain Idiot. He wants to go to war. All because of you. Because he thinks you're hiding me. weapons of mass destruction. Miss Barnett and I no longer have anything in common. It was all a big mistake. Fred. I've been made aware that Miss Barnett is completely indifferent as far as I am concerned. No, I think she's completely indifferent as far as anyone's concerned. I've discovered concerned. that I have the same feeling of indifference. Indifference is actually her. the absence what? of feeling, Bob. What a <laughs> this is. Right out of a 19th century melodrama. The Telltale Heart. If Eve still interested me one little bit, I wouldn't be going out of my way to look for a tea dress. Trouble, as you seem to be aye, 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 aye. Human feelings are inconsistent. In fact, they're the only inconsistent elements in all nature. I wish he'd get out of that ridiculous hammock. Makes me wish I was back on Polly's Island. For your opinion. All right, Steele. You can take out my you sister. You can go with your old college chum and have yourselves a, a merry nice little Christmas reunion. I've just had an idea. Naturally, it's a great one. You can't judge puffy eye socks by their cover. No idea what's going on. Hey, I think I see Orion's bell. No, that's Zeus's shoe. Oh. Ouija board. 
tell us. Does Candace like Dave? I used to beat this game all the time when they had it at Pizza Hut. I had my initials on it for like six weeks. Special effects by Hanna-Barbera. That's enough. Cut off the telecommand. Are you crazy? You Cut jive, off the telecommand, turkey. I say. We must maneuver freely. That would be an act of insubordination. I say we obey orders and die. Two discs are heading towards us. Gamble your career, you idiot, if you don't want to gamble your life. Wilco! Okay, bad idea. Turn it off. Turn it off. Turn contest, you lose. Alpha 2-3 has cut off the telecommand. What? Hit one of them, Bob. Not with the I ring. hate it when you're watching Run a football game and some clown keeps yelling at the TV. Don't look at me like that. I'm not insane. But these prices are... He can't see you. And if you don't use the radio, he won't hear you. And if you don't let one don't rip, he won't smell you. Do as I tell you. It's Fred Steele's spaceship. And there's Fred Sanford's junkyard. You mean Empire. Ow! Wait a few seconds, my girl. Then it will be really bad. Before you put me on the rack. You must pass as close to him as possible, almost grazing him. Okay, calm down. Take your meds. National Anthem. No tails. It's falling. That's so smart. The, the other discs are retreating. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah. Yeehaw. At this speed, they'll burn up when they hit the atmosphere. That'll look so cool. Men will end up in glory. Actually, they'll end up in this movie. <laughs> You've got to control. Maybe this is my party, Fred. Do Close this in now. remembrance of me. Watch out. You spin me right round, baby. Right round. <laughs> <laughs> There's another baby after that, but I guess we're not seeing that. They're gonna so spit beef when they get off that thing. Gyroscopes at maximum. Rubik's cubes and yo-yos at minimum. The new improved gravitron. Okay, we're perpendicular. Go. No. Wait. What about the disc? If it has as good a pilot as we do, it's safe. Ew. Oh, so cheesy. Engines. Yes, paleface. Cough! That's what it says in the script. Call back all surviving spaceships. Professor, don't turn around. There's a huge roach behind you. Must be recovered. At all costs. Well, it ain't gonna be cheap, Professor. You, See, there's pirates and labor, and then we'll clean the undercarriage and... If he's still alive, I want his report on the fallen disc. And I want to consult a chiropractor about the accompanying back pain. And if the bigwigs don't want to listen to me this time either... You can tell them in my name. You all go to Disney, Disney World. Eve. You really like Eve, don't you? Yeah, she's dreamy. If you weren't married, would you date her? Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she's so sweet and innocent. Probably if you took her on a date to a restaurant, she would eat everything on her plate just so she didn't <laughs> stick you with the bill for not what? eating anything. Wow. <laughs> well, what about Fred Steele? Would you date him? Oh, I don't know. His eyes are far apart and his teeth are kind of <laughs> weird. And he kind of reminds me of, like those little lemon head candies, you know? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Emily, there's more to guys than just appearances. Yeah, there better be or else Professor Benson is doomed. <laughs> <laughs> I think Fred and Eve are cute together. They should have like a romantic theme like in all those uh, romantic comedies. What song would you pick for them? I would choose Somebody I Used to Know because that was made in the 60s and they're probably both dead now, so they don't know each other anymore. <laughs> yeah, Somebody that's true. That I used to know. <laughs> oh, I'm dead now. <laughs> I think I'd probably pick what makes you beautiful, since, you know, nothing makes either of them beautiful. Oh, <laughs> oh. that's not. I, I resent sorry, that. I'm remark. sorry. Talk about my Eve that way. <laughs> I'd pick the band Starbuck. Moonlight. Feels right. <laughs> right. Songs. That song is so old. No one remembers that song. <laughs> yeah, I hate that song. I would rather be deaf than listen to that song one more time. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember that song. That song was before I was born, but I can listen to the song because it comes on the radio. You just have to listen to that station that don't plays all the to songs. That station. That... <laughs> That's my favorite station. <laughs> That's the cheesiest song ever. I would not choose that. I mean, to be a marimba song. solo. What would you pick? Um, I'd probably say break your heart because, you know, they're probably going to die in a crash anyway, so they're both going to die. And yeah. also, Fred leaves Eve, so he's only going to break her heart. Uh, yeah. Uh -huh. I think that Fred and Eve are going to get married. 
<laughs> I think they're gonna end up alone and separated. Well, let's watch and see.